Dusk is my favorite time of day. Okay. Like this right here. Before it gets to be night, like around 7 o'clock to about 8.30 is my favorite time. fashionista Hello. so i'm here just uh, chilling for the evening with my buddy kevin um it's an amazing day here in florida we're in orlando uh here at brio of course but uh here we're gonna cheer up for our friendship it's been a long time <laughs> yes supposed to look into each other's eyes so yes <laughs> when we say cheers you're supposed to uh, right no cheers no <laughs> <laughs> um, I tell you guys, and including my uh, uh, my viewers, uh, this uh, is a quick uh, is a quick thing. Back in the day, in my country, which is the Congo, I was born in the Congo, as you all know that. But my old old president, uh, this my, my my dad told me this story. So her leader happened to go to China, mm. and then the entire conference they keep uh, cheering up like a. Chin chin, chin chin, and then he had enough of it, and he said, "Well, I'm so tired of the whole time. Every time we having a meal, you saying chin chin, Congo Congo, <laughs> <laughs> to my country, Congo Congo, yeah." Listen, I told my mother I couldn't wait to come and out then with meet you me and and chin and, chin. And chin chin. I call it yes, uh, chin chin French wine glasses. Is, uh, yes. It's a la santé. But what do you think about this? This is sangria. It's nice. It's nice. I so I, I sent some fruit in here or something. Yeah, because if it wasn't like a, um, like I said, I put the vodka, but it's not strong. Okay, it's is there vodka driving. in there? Mm -hmm. ah. But it's a strawberry vodka. Okay, so let's say if it wasn't right, so if it wasn't a pandemic, you would have more food more in food. it. So it's, uh, it gives you more of a cocktail, mm -hmm. a nice uh, drink. Yes. So we're just here. We're going to pause it for a little bit until we, you know, we talk. I'm going to take your cell phone home so, with me today. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Me and Kevin actually met several years ago. Uh, we normally do something here for the city of Orlando. Again, a hashtag to the city beautiful. Uh, that's how we do it here in Florida. But uh, um, we met several years ago, so he's like a brother to me. Uh, we've been friends, I cherish our friendship. So, but because of the pandemic, we have not had a chance to catch up. So we're gonna try to just have a little meal and talk. He wants to know a little bit about our garden to fashion. So maybe we can share with him as I listen to him what he's gonna ask me. <laughs> what would you like to ask me about? So I, I just, you know, I, I am obviously a follower of your mm -hmm. um, social media mm -hmm. and your blogs mm -hmm. and your and your um, YouTube posts, mm -hmm. and I'm intrigued because I don't know that much about fashion. I'm okay. not. I'm not a. I'm not a big label person, but I love when people um, are dressed to the nines and they're oh. clean and they're wonderful. I love it. I do. Mm -hmm. My stepmother has given me that, you know, and I you love that. You have it on you. You have I, your But no, my, my stepmother has always given me that. Mm -hmm. My main, um, as we discussed, is is Chanel. I, I okay. do love a Chanel. Love but my, my biggest question is, how did you get into fashion so much? Like, how are you... So in, involved, involved in it, exactly. and mm -hmm. and what is your your main fashion line? Nine. Okay. Well, first I'm gonna start by saying I, I was born in the Congo and mm. I was raised in France. Um, growing up, I always been in tune with fashion because of my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. my mom style instilled in, you know in me very much. So my mom was a true fashionista. Uh, she was the kind of woman who would dress with conflict, even a tie, when she had, you know, when she had to. But um, just growing up, I only show interest in fashion. I collected magazines. When I'm talking about, I collect magazines up to this day, I do collect magazines. So I'm very much aware of, uh, I was aware of uh, a lot of fashion, um, home, you know, house. Back in the day, like I would wear Karl Lagerfeld. I know now people talk about Karl Lagerfeld, you know, God bless his soul. But uh, yeah, Carla Gaffel, Jean Paul Gauthier, those are the things that I have had. Um, so we were talking about your. Yeah, so I've always been in tune with the fashion, you know. Uh, not only I was in the city, so during my years of, uh, you know, college and stuff, I always told my mom that I would love to be a fashion designer. Um, you know, my middle name is Ines. 
Inez. Inez. I N E S. Okay. Yeah, you hear them I say Inez or something. But there is a fashion back. I mean, she got older. The funny, I saw her at the fashion show for Chanel. This uh, past 2020 spring 21. Okay. I saw her Inez de la Présange. That was her, that's her name. Wow. She's a fashion designer, but she's an older lady. Um, my mama generation. But anyway. Part of my ignorance. Part of my no, ignorance. no, no, no worries. But because of her, I used to always call myself, you know, Inez de la Présange. <laughs> <laughs> like I was a designer and stuff. But anyway, long story short, um, so I graduated, uh, you know, I do have a bachelor degree in fashion merchandising. I have worked for stores, I was a personal shopper for Nordstrom. Yes, I work for Neiman, I've worked for Saks. I don't at all. I love fashion. So what's funny to me is mm -hmm. when you and I met uh, mm -hmm. uh, some years ago, mm -hmm. and I was working for Fusion Fest, mm -hmm. and I was just like, we have a fashion element with Fusion Fest, mm -hmm. and I was, I was just like, mm -hmm. this young lady is so beautiful and Aww. so well put together, Aww. and 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 I said she would be an amazing judge at Fusion Fest. You would have been, you know, and mm -hmm. and that's how we really connected. We did, and, and that's where you came to. We our mer our worlds merged together, right? And it, mm -hmm. it came out so wonderful. And I love mm -hmm. seeing you out there. I love seeing your blog and everything you have mm -hmm. going on because mm -hmm. it is nothing but fashion. And I didn't even know that you were so engrossed in it mm -hmm. until. But this is the thing. So, about maybe seven years ago. I decided to move into financial retail, so I, I became a personal banker. I know, for my views out there, <laughs> I became a, a personal banker. I worked okay. for Wells Fargo, I know. Then uh, Wells Fargo, they stole me at Disney. Disney took me for partners. Wow. Partners Credit Union, so the okay. whole time you make me, okay. I've been working for partners, okay. so I do finances. Wow. So I'm like, uh, um, I always say it's like, uh, I'm a small word in this one woman. I do a lot of things. I like to have a plan A, B, C, you know? You D. have to, you have to in yeah. this world today. But fun, fashion never left me. So during the pandemic, and I need to talk about this, so just to let you, some of you, you know, have hope in how some, you know, life being, you know, the change that the pandemic have made in some of us. During the pandemic, I got follow. And then I said, well, I always do my uh, blogging here and there, not too much. Mm -hmm. um, I do consulting because I do personal shopping. And then I do closet edit where I can reorganize mm -hmm. and revamp your mm -hmm. closet. And then I said, I want, well, I already created my store because I do have a boutique online, mm -hmm. which is C'est Très Chic. And I always say that my day style for C'est Très Chic, that's because it's my own clothing line. Um, uh, it's a beautiful boutique. You have to see, I carry unique pieces pieces that you can find like you walk into the store and find it you right, know right, right. um so i decided to be more involved during the pandemic um yes. i started my this youtube channel um april exactly one year now april last year and then i'm close to 100,000 views I, I part on my back i mean yes yes so but it's a hard work to thanks to that of course <laughs> thank you um it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of editing, a lot, just a lot of things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People think it's easier. And then I like to, I'm very meticulous to everything I do. So I want to make a clean content for my, uh, yes, for my, uh, for my uh, YouTube channel. So you look forward to seeing me or, and then I always say I have this accent. So I try to talk slowly and then clearly. But I always say also, you know, I always, I'm open. To comment, comments, like, whatever suggestion you want to give me, I'm always open to that. You have mm -hmm. such a mm -hmm. um, wide array of mm -hmm. of um, outings because mm -hmm. you know you were in Miami mm -hmm. in Bow Harbor. Yes, and, yes. And like I said, I follow mm -hmm. you. I follow. Oh, I was that. <laughs> Miami was great. I, yes, yes, yes I know, and I know, and I was watching you, and I was like. Mm -hmm. Just seeing everything that you were doing in Miami, and I was like, oh my God, because I, I love Miami. Mm -hmm. I do. I, I truly love it. So, mm -hmm. um, I, I just love to see your posts and see what you have going on and your fashion. And, and, and I'm looking at I'm it. I'm so critiquing grateful. it, and I'm seeing it, and I'm loving it, and, and I'm like, oh my God, it's so nice. I'm so grateful 
you know, for people like yourself, Kevin. You know, when you have friends that are support you, but they support you 150 percent. I mean, is the form of bottom up <laughs> until we go up there, you know. Yes. So um, those are the people in my journey that I would always remember. Um, it's wonderful. It's, yeah. it's wonderful to follow and because I love fashion, and like mm -hmm. I said, I'm not I'm not into a lot of labels, but I mm -hmm. love clean lines, and I love how mm -hmm. people put stuff together even mm -hmm. if it's funky mm -hmm. no matter what it is i mm -hmm. i truly love it um what is your favorite designer like what is oh. your what your number one what gets you smiling you know, yes. I love it. what are you thinking uh, of it's funny uh you ask that question i love of course all the designer because i love the fashion i love fashion in the whole if you want to play the fifth yeah. you can play the no, fifth no i'm not going to play the fifth because uh, um it's all about who you know if you would ask me a designer that can just have in my closet and individuality at all the time, it's about individuality is a valentino really oh yeah, yeah i would uh, i would even love to be dressed by valentino i think that i do have valentino pieces um but i would love to dress by them and i would look forward when i go back to italy to make sure that uh, i can meet the house of Valentino Biancio. We're going to make that happen. Yes, that I love, happen. Uh, I, I love Valentino. I don't Valentino. know too much about Valentino and part yeah. of my ignorance, everybody. No, I don't no, 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 no. It's not much. a problem because some designer, you know, like right now I've been talking about Tom Ford because I have a blog coming. I'm going to talk about Tom Ford. Uh -huh. And I love Tom Ford. But I'm just talking about a designer that the pieces have unique pieces that I would love to wear. From okay, me. okay. Um, pieces that... Uh, not the ones that I'm buying in the store, the one that you're going to make for me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I love Tom Ford, but I have a lot of accessories by Tom Ford. Wow. Because Tom Ford, like with his perfume line, mm -hmm. is very unique mm -hmm. with his notes. Mm -hmm. To me, it's so up, up there. Wow. Yeah, he's a top of class. Okay. I'm going to, I definitely give you, you know. I'm sleeping on Tom Ford. I need to yeah, get I my Tom, Tom Ford, Ford on. Ford. But okay. Valentino is my designer, if you ask gotcha. me. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So, I, and, and I was telling you earlier that I don't know that mm -hmm. much about labels, but mm -hmm. I've always been a Chanel. Mm -hmm. and whenever I see Chanel, like mm -hmm. my stepmother, I told you, my stepmother is who gave me mm -hmm. um, my fashion sense. Okay. And she was a merchandiser at JCPenney oh, for many years, many years. And I used to go to her office and she would she's wear her... with us? No, 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 no. No, no, no. She's here. No, no. Oh, she's, okay. Yeah, she lives okay. in Tampa. Okay. Love her to death. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but she was a merchandiser for JCPenney's okay. and I would go to her office and she would wear suits and beautiful the brooches beautiful and, and she just had it together and it was mm -hmm. it was amazing. Um, and, I, and I aspire one day, Lord, mm -hmm. to buy her a Chanel purse yes. and a Chanel bangle. Okay. I love a Chanel bangle. And, then and that's when you need to start doing that real <laughs> That's a good 7000 That You know, I don't oh, have look that. Look, he was looking for that. Yes. Thank yes, you, Izzy, yes. so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, um, but Chanel is, is my thing. And like mm -hmm. I said, maybe I need to um, obviously broaden my horizons mm -hmm. with other, you know, designers like Valentino because mm -hmm. I don't know. But Chanel is a total classic. I mean, Coco Chanel and, is and a total classic. And that's what I love about the classics. Like, I'm a very yeah. classic. Yeah. So you Chanel know, is a very classic. But I'm one of those people. Um, I also like. Uh, yeah, Oh, thank you. thank you very much. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, you guys want to see what you're eating? So oh, it eat smells it. so good. Yeah, everything is looking good. Um, I can give you guys a glimpse of what I'm eating. So, this is, I don't know if you can see, but. So, There's a lobster and shrimp. So, I'm um, having a lobster. And shrimp to the sea. That's what it is. So That's it's just exactly a pasta. Yeah. So we're gonna eat her food, and I know you guys are gonna say what well, because a lot of people have been sending me questions. They say, "What do you do when you know you don't hang out?" You know, well, with the pandemic, it's not easy to hang out, and you have to trust the people you wanna be around, wait, and stuff like that. So today is just a pleasure that I. Uh, Kevin here and it's okay. a pleasure that she is dining with me today <laughs> so I am ecstatic and yes. and I we have been saying this for the longest time yes, let's do lunch let's hang out let's connect and it's and not easy because we're all busy you know but know. she made it happen and I appreciate you for making it happen oh, thank you.
Because I'm you. such a homebody and I'm so in my world with my mother. Mm-hmm. My mother's a little older and I appreciate you getting me out of the house. Oh, no, <laughs> it was a pleasure. And then today is very beautiful here in Florida. So we're just enjoying. Um, I think it was like an 80 degree here. So we're sitting outside. We at Brio, hashtag Brio, at the Mall of Millennia. Mm-hmm. So that's how we do it here in Orlando. So stay tuned and then uh, to be continued. All right. Hey guys, well, we're still here chilling at Brio. So we're just talking about everything that's been happening, different reality TV shows. I'm sure you guys are just like us. You know, we talk about things, a little tea on what's happening, like a Housewives of Atlanta, Married to Medicine. I know, mm. right? So, but anyway, shoot me your comments if whoever you like in Married to Medicine. Uh, so that's all we're talking about, guys. Okay. So I have to tell you about Married to Medicine really quick. Okay. Um, I used to watch the show a lot. Okay. And I used to like the show, and there's characters on the show okay. that I truly do enjoy. Okay. Um, such as whom? <laughs> such as. Such, we're just talking about that. Now. Okay. Such as I like um, Quad. I love Quad. I've quad? always liked okay. Quad. Quad. Um, Mariah is cool. Okay. I, I can, I, you know. Dr. Um, Simone. Okay. I'm go- cool with her. Dr. You Jackie. You like Dr. Simone? I, I think like Dr. Simone. Well, I, like, I used to like the relationship with uh, Dr. Jackie. Jackie you yes, know, because yes. they would have the lunch together and then all of that. But uh, they had a falling out and something yes. happened. Uh, I don't know. With Dr. Simone. Jackie, Dr. Jackie got a little... Oh, okay. Carry her out a little bit. She got a little crazy with... The one new girl that came in when she was uh, discussing her, yeah, yeah, yeah. her when personal, she was just yeah her personal yeah, issues. issues that was not cool. I, I, yes, yes. I and, and then and then her that response was, to that yeah was that horrible. was not cool. And she never asked her for permission right. to discuss that in right. front of everybody. Right. That was not cool. However, yeah. the reason why I will not cannot mm-hmm. watch that show mm-hmm. ever again mm-hmm. is because of one person on that show. Maybe mm-hmm. two, but we're gonna say one for now. Okay. Maybe the one I'm thinking about. Dr. Heavenly. There's okay. nothing heavenly. Well, Dr. Heavenly, this is Nadege fashion expert. Uh, not really, you know, sister, you know, I love you much, love to you much. Success to you and your husband. Well, I would love I like to Dr. offer David. you. I do like Dr. David. The diamond, that's why, of course, a very intelligent <laughs> man, but uh, um, I can give you, help you a little bit with your style, you know. No, 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 no. She don't need help with her style. Really? She needs help up here. Well, she's a I dentist. Cannot, <laughs> I cannot deal with her. With her Listen, let me tell you dentist. something. I, I like the way, what impresses me about the world is okay. how people carry themselves. Right. And when you're you're very vile and unnecessary and right. ugly, she it is. is a turn off. She is. And she is. Mm-hmm. And that's why I will never watch mm-hmm. Married to Medicine because of her. Mm-hmm. Latoya, uh, I can't take Latoya. I like her. She's a beautiful young lady. Latoya, this is my advice. This is Nadej Stali, the blogger, <laughs> the fashion expert. I mean, I love you too, sister, but uh, um, uh, her husband is uh, who I'm trying to think about, Eugene. Oh, Eugene, Dr. Yes, Eugene yes. is such a humble, you're so lucky girl, yes. please don't mess yes. it up. You are staying at home, mom, come on now. Just do your thing, continue being the wife, but you, sometimes you bring a little bit too much drama. Yes, but, <laughs> thank you. But uh, yeah, Latoya, Latoya, Latoya still there. Um, I think Latoya now gets along with... Um, there is another one that she was not getting along with. Is she with the quad? Oh, no, no, no. no. I know who you're talking about. Not, it's uh, the other one. Oh, oh, my God. It's the other young lady. She has the two kids with the other husband that's a doctor. His name is Scott, I think. Oh, I forgot the name. Oh, because I, her I know name she was on my tongue. Was that for her friend? Because remember she hit her breast after she just had the breast it, yeah, augmentation? Yeah, it's Yes, um, she name. used to be in the military, I forgot. Yes, yes. They're both a physician, yes, yeah. Yes, they were yes. having a lot of marital problems. And I like and them, stuff I like, like them. them. Uh, I like them. Uh, Contessa. Dr. Contessa. Dr. Contessa. Dr. Contessa with her, you know, with her. I'm with a drink to Dr. Contessa. Drink to that one. But, uh, you know, I think they've been working their problems because they were having a lot of issues yeah. uh, with the but kids. I do like and sometimes that. I do with like the kids, that. for you working folks, is not sometimes easy, you know? Right, So, right. but, contest, that's what it is. But, um, Dr. Heavenly, get mm-hmm. help. 
get serious help. You had that, Doctor Heaven. Bless your heart. Um, she did block me on Twitter. She did. Bless her heart. A long time ago, because <laughs> she did block me. Which okay. I, I mean, I'm not a fan. I'm right. not a fan, even though I'm talking about right. it. I'm not a fan. I just I, and, and but I can't watch the show because I don't like because that that energy that she brings to the that show. I know, I know that it's reality TV, right. and we all like a little bit of drama and a little bit of you know. But craziness. Dr. Heavenly, the one thing I want to say, you are very blessed to have, uh, you know, Dr. Damon in your in your life because he's a very passive, easygoing man. And I see one episode where uh, Dr. Eugene praise him because of uh, Dr. Damon. Mm -hmm. that Dr. Eugene is where he is mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just mentoring because I would think Eugene is younger to, to Damien you know just mentoring that type of thing um, when I think about but, her I, I think poor Alora. do you know who Alora is? Alora to me is uh, should be the Dr. Heavily should be concentrating on being a better mother to Alora than yeah because when Alora I, I've been watching Married to Medicine for some time now me too uh, when she was just 10, she was like going on 30. I used to feel like, because I'm a mom, and I used to feel like, woo, did she talk like that? Did she do this? You know, not to judge your parenting, you know, way. I'm, I'm judging. I'm but, judging. I'm uh, judging. It's mm -hmm. horrible. And I, and the, yeah. the, the, the um, representation mm -hmm. is important for not of only course, our people, course, but our and children. And young folks. Yes. And, and, and guess what? I understand mm -hmm. it may be for a check. It mm -hmm. may be for the reality show. Yeah, but still. <laughs> but still, yes. I'm never going to act a fool for a check. Right. I'm never going to do that. Right, yeah. So I, I oh. want to move on past her because she vexes my spirit in, in, in mm -hmm. not a good way. Mm -hmm. So we can move on past her. What other reality shows do you oh, enjoy the other, watching? The other, the other reality TV shows that, of course, yeah. I've moved way past that now. House of Atlanta because hey Nene ah! <laughs> hi Nene Blue. but uh, I love yes. Nene oh yeah I love, I love Nene her. but I'm just saying that uh, with all I think over the years it was maybe time for Nene to go because over the years it's been a lot of things with those other ladies but I think some of them are jealous of her because she really a go-getter I mean she truth, really yes. came and then uh, truth be told you know. Nene got too big for the housewives because she she's did. a huge personality she and she has amazing potential to do other things of course, of and, course. And, and and I'm not hating on that I love it you know and I'm I, what, what you know let me tell you what I loved about it okay, in the beginning of the housewives yes when with Kim with, and yes, Sherry yes, Ah, yeah, and that's what I want to talk about. Okay. Remember, remember when Nini did not get into the party? Which party? Which it's Sheree's about? party, and Sheree was so sedity and so ugly. And oh, yeah. yeah but she did not get into it. That's what really, um, I, I love the underdog. I love the underdog and somebody who, you know, I don't want to say gets bullied, but gets treated unfairly. And that's how I, how I felt she was. And she rose from that to this. Yes. And she surpassed Sheree. She surpassed um, all of them. Kim. Yeah. <laughs> the one I'm trying to remember is uh, she told uh, Sheree about... Uh, I think Sheree was going to some issues with the kids and she was driving a, a Porsche but she lived in this uh, raggedy apartment with her, on air mattress. her boys yeah, right. sleeping on the air mattress and stuff like that. But then she said, well girl, me, is it Donald Trump check or something like that? <laughs> I'm a rich, because she was an, <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember that yeah. line when she was an apprentice. But uh, um, Everybody come and go. You're right. I think it was a time for Nini to really see her way out. I can't wait to see go. her come back, though. Uh, I think it'll be a good thing for the show for her to I, come back. And I, I, I know because it seems like it's been a big. I don't want to say too much on her life like that. Um, I do follow you, Nini. I do follow you. Much love, much success. But I thought you and Andy had a great relationship. So. For the relationship to fizzle like that, it was Do a little bit. have a good relationship anymore? No, she. Oh, oh she and uh, Andy Cohen. Uh, for some, they bumped head this time because of. Well, even though so I want I Andy Cohen's job and I love what Andy Cohen does, <laughs> I think Andy Cohen is is not the uh, nicest. Okay. Like he's a little shady. Uh, yeah, uh, I yeah, don't I'm know this it. to be fact, so don't but, quote me on it. Right. But yes. I heard he's not the easiest and the nicest. So. I don't know. But anyway, but I think with Nini, but Nini, I'm just going to agree with you. I uh, watch it after you left. Of course, now I've been watching and I watched. Uh, they did a bachelor uh, for uh, Cynthia. 
And I'm going to say, sister, I mean, I understand. I have kids. I have two kids. I'm not saying that uh, everybody and to fitness and stuff. But come on now, sister girls. I watch Kenya, Candy, Sancha. Everybody have a hot chicken pom pom. <laughs> let's lotion. Let's put a nice grease all on the skin. Just, you know, it look more flattering when you have those underwear or whatever you guys are doing out there. But it didn't look too clean. I didn't like it. What didn't look too clean? They had a bachelor party for <laughs> Cynthia. Oh, oh okay. my goodness. Yes. It was like yes. something yes. I don't even want to. I think some other strip club looks better than that, I have to say. That's, <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a shade right there. But um, overall, I'm not, I haven't been watching it. It's not really interesting. Sometimes. I see Portia still on it. I love Portia. No longer, I yeah. Love Portia. So I know she was very supportive with the, you know, Black Lives Black Matter Lives movement, Lives. you know. Yeah. So much love to her. She's no longer with Dennis. So I'm upset about. I'm upset about because really? little PJ. I like little Dennis. PJ, I like PJ, PJ and Portia. Yeah, I, I like them. I, I like as a them couple. together. But, but he, was, he wasn't. He wasn't mature enough. To, yeah, but a lot of drama to start. It was, so but he was wasn't mature time. enough, truth yeah. be told. That's really the actual real deal, you know. He was still out here, I think, in these streets. Mm. And I don't know. I'm not in their personal business. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We just, again, we just the fans that watch and we see. Not fans. So, supporters. Not fans. Supporters. supporters. <laughs> I'm a supporter. So just, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so we just actually <laughs> sharing her opinion and how we feel just like every other person on earth who into a reality TV show and stuff. But anyway... That's what we've been doing, so, but Just I'm here, out. I know, so, <laughs> hanging out, you guys enjoy my uh, buddy Kevin here, <laughs> we I'm actually learn, that is. it's funny, sometimes how you've been a friend with somebody, and we don't get a chance, because every time you catch up, you're talking about different subjects, so, mm -hmm. today we had a chance to talk, and just enjoy each other's company, and yes. it's healthy, for the spirit, you know. Much um, needed. Much yeah, needed. especially during the pandemic. So <laughs> if you have not reached out to a friend one for in, in a long time, especially during the pandemic, even just a phone call. Now you have Zoom, just go in and just say, hey, hello, just thinking about you. Because you never know. We have lost so many people to this pandemic and people have lost their jobs. They're going to depression and stuff like that, please. Just uh, throw out many blessings out there. It was a pleasure. I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of uh, Mala Millennia. So if you're in Orlando, or if you live in Orlando, and then you're not familiar with the Mala Millennia, today is a Friday, so it's kind of like a happy hour, people are out eating. And now that the people are getting vaccines, so it's a little bit easier for people to feel comfortable to eat. We still have to have our mask. Yes, um, yes, yes. I don't yes. want people to think, so we still have our mask, <laughs> yes, of course, you know, to enter the restaurant. But we were eating and drinking a little bit, so and we took the mask off. But anyhow, until the next time, uh, I always tell you guys, stay stylish at all the time. Um, thank you, thank you for your support. And if you did like this video, please like it, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, okay? Until next time, à très bientôt, au revoir. Au revoir. You wanna say something to me? No, I, I appreciate being here with you and, and it was a pleasure and, and, and coming to hang out with you on your channel here and oh, I'm, well, I'm we're happy to have this. you. I would love to do this again. Yes, with you. you say you heard that? I would Let's love to. keep up Kevin to that. So <laughs> until next time you're gonna see me and then maybe volume two with me and Kevin, yes, okay? Definitely. Much love, au revoir. Okay, my math is correct.